this video, I'm going to show you the best shallow cross concept in Madden 24. It comes to us out of the tight slots, halfback, weak formation, and the play is going to be post wheel drag. Now, this play features a couple of really unique routes. It has a really good post route, it has a really good wheel route as well that is going to help you get some uh, receivers open. So, the setup for this play, again, this is in the tight slots in the Bengals playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on this, uh, go ahead and join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description. What we're going to do is we're going to streak our right side receiver and we're going to block our running back. And what this is going to do is it's going to make a, a really, really good uh, shallow cross concept. Now, the main route and the money route is the post route, okay? If they don't use the post route, I don't care if it is man, I don't care if it is zone, I don't care if they have one step ahead, you are throwing this post route, you're free forming it to the inside or passing it to the inside, and this is literally one of the best routes in the entire game. Now, the next route that I want to show you is this tight end drag, which I think is a very underrated route uh, in terms of what it can do for you against man to man. So what you're going to notice here is um, this tight end drag pretty much always is going to get separation. And because the rack catch animations are so good in this game, the drag routes have become truly one of the better routes in the game. And as you'll see right here, just basically your rack catching, you see you get that explosive catch animation and you're able to get uh, you know into a pretty good position. Now, uh, another throw that I want to show you, it's not 100%, but I do want to show it, is this wheel route. I think this wheel route affords us some really cool things you can do uh, against man-to-man. -man. So in this example, we have cover one robber. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeform inside that wheel. You see that catch right there? Uh, so what I just did was I freeformed up and inside. Uh, and that right there is a really, really good route. And if you can learn how to throw this route, it can literally win you games. Um, now, another thing you could do with this wheel route, I did want to show it as well, is let's. you can also kind of try to lob it over the top. You'll see here, he'll get a step, and you're just going to lob it over the top, and you can rack catch this against that off-man coverage as well. Okay, so That's another thing that you want to look at with this. Now, uh, Madden 24 is known, okay, and, and really next-gen Madden in general is known for the fact that there's a lot of bumping, right? Okay, so you will randomly get this wheel route open in these press animations and situations. Um, you just want to really, I like, and there you see that, that right there. And that's why you got to be a little bit careful with your free form. You're not trying, it's not a horizontal pass, because if you do that, he'll catch up with him. But what you're really looking for is almost like a lob streak. You're trying to get the ball out in front of the defender and really just a, just slightly to the inside. So you see here, this is probably a little better example. See, I'm able to catch it. And the rack catch animations this year allow us to catch stuff like that. So that is something else that I just wanted to hit on. Um, in a cover one scenario where it's like one-on-one, -on -one, another thing you can do is you can actually aggressive catch it. Okay, so these wheel routes don't sleep on them against man-to-man. -man. Now, where this also really shines and this route becomes really, really good is if they shade underneath. So if they shade underneath, maybe they're just trying to get aggressive in their man coverage. What you'll see is this guy will take a false step and normally this will be open. Here he actually looks like he's going to be able to cover it. But normally this will be wide open over the top. It'll be a little bit better uh, separation than what you just saw. Okay. So this is one of my favorite routes uh, in the game against press man-to-man. -man. If I'm ever getting uh, somebody that's pressing up a lot, I really like this wheel route. I really think that – you see there, there, there it is right there. That's a little better of an example of what happens. Um, and, yeah, really, really good route. Uh, it's not 100% though. Okay, it's not 100%. Don't want to pretend that it is. Now, the other thing that this wheel route is going to do for you is against zone coverage, it's going to do a lot. So uh, let's say that someone is, if you're you're playing someone, let's say they're running like a cover three with curl flats. If it's a curl flat or a cloud flat, it's going to match this wheel route vertically. What that does is it leaves this tight end underneath open for about 10 to 15 yards. So and it's going to be a really effective route for you because a lot of times what people are going to do is they're just going to play kind of a basic coverage and they're not going to make adjustments. And if they don't adjust to this wheel route, this drag will be wide open over the over the top every single time. Now, um, obviously the shot cross concept is not specifically designed to attack zone or man. It's just conceptual, right? But you can design, if you utilize the play four verticals here, we could make a setup like this. And I'll show you real quick here. You'll see the streak will pull. And then you can throw this kind of in this little window. Now, Obviously, that's a little bit more of a seams concept, not a shallow concept, but just something else you can do with this play that I did want you to be aware of.
So uh, let's say that it is cover four, and let's say that they do hard flat. What are you going to need to look for? If they hard flat out of really any zone coverage, then you're looking for this deep post over the middle of the field that is going to do a really good job of attacking those coverages. So the best way to really defend this is to hard flat and then use her over the top. If they start to do that, one of my favorite adjustments is we're going to actually uh, basically leave the play as it is. And then we're just going to motion the running back out on a streak, and I'll show you what happens. So you got to think about it. They're going to use her in the post. They're going to try to take that away with their user, right? So what's going to happen is you're going to probably have a little more time, and you're going to be looking for this guy coming back across the middle just like that, okay? Super high-level concept. I love to play post wheel drag in this game. I think it's one of the best plays in the entire game. If you guys want to uh, get my entire tight slots halfback week offensive ebook join the patreon the link's going to be down in the description for just 10 bucks you'll get access to literally everything all of our offensive and defensive ebooks all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below